Well, hello to our Ebenezer family and those of you who are tuning in into our devotional series through the Book of Psalms. Today, we not only continue in the Book of Psalms, but we continue our deep dive into Psalm 119. But let me begin by reading the section that we'll be looking at today, which is Psalm 119, verses 97 to 112. Oh, how I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. Your commands are always with me and make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey your precepts. I have kept my feet from every evil path so that I might obey your word. I have not departed from your laws, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts, therefore I hate every wrong path. The next section begins at Psalm 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, the willing praise of my mouth and teach me your laws. Though I constantly take my life in my hands, I will not forget your law. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees to the very end. I'm standing back here and I've set things up like this because I wanted this kind of little obstacle course to represent life. You know, life is full of obstacles. At times, it's full of detours and changes that we don't always anticipate. And so we need to be ready to handle the things that life brings to us, especially when they come at us somewhat unexpectedly or even sometimes very tragically. So I, just as a demonstration, I'm just going to walk my way through uh, this little obstacle, obstacle course of life that I've set up here for us. Oh! Ow! Hey, what's going on back there? If it's you kids again, oh, cow! Cow! Kel, I'm sorry. I didn't realize oh, you were back here. Are you? No, that's okay. Are you okay? Are you mad? I'm so yeah. sorry. I didn't mean to do. Yeah, I'm okay, yeah. but I was. I'm just back here recording my devotional, and and I just was set up this obstacle course. I kind of use it to represent life, and then all of a sudden the lights went out, and and, and I I couldn't see anything. Well, isn't that a flashlight over there? Yeah, I I mean it's it's right there. There's, like yeah, I have a flashlight there. Like, you do know how to use a flashlight, right? Well, yeah, I guess so. But here's it. Like, I mean, I got this flashlight. I read the whole manual. Okay. It's aircraft grade aluminum. No way. It, it can withstand five atmospheres of water pressure. <laughs> That's amazing. It's awesome. And it's got, like, I think it's like 500 lumens of light. It is incredibly, it's an incredibly good flashlight. That's insane. Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, you need batteries. So, so did you have batteries in it? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's batteries in it. I, I had just freshly charged batteries. Freshly charged right batteries. In there. Um, but boy, man, that, that darkness all of a sudden just took me for a loop. And all of a sudden, I found myself tripping over all this stuff. Well, like, I'm glad you know a lot about the flashlight, but why is it on the shelf and not on you? You do realize that it's more helpful to have the flashlight on you that you can use, not just sitting on a shelf. Well, that, yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Like, I'm like, I'm glad you know a lot about it, but I would just be more appreciative if you actually used it. Um, anyways, I'll just leave you to it. Looks like you have some cleaning up to do. Anyways, it was good seeing you, Cal. Okay, see you later. Hmm. 